happened that the beaver, in fact, was an ancestor of mine.
see everything on the water wasn't here. Absolutely, the dirt. We're talking about an enormous amount of dirt that that took the city. So there were a bunch of hills on on that trauma. So there were more hills on the Hill, and we the 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 Today we only remember that in Tremont Street. Tremont, Tremont, three hills, and the Those three hills all pushed into the harbor. And now we have downtown Boston. That's where all that dirt came from. And then they took 60 feet off Beacon Hill as well. They couldn't take all of Beacon Hill, or Boston would no longer be known as that shining beacon on a hill. So they put the state house up there to protect the hill. Then they ran out of dirt. There were still two more parts of Boston to build. So they went southwest of Boston about 20 miles to the town of Needham. Needham had a whole bunch of hills, and apparently someone said, well, take the hills, we don't need them. And all that dirt was brought out of Boston. Landed in two locations, one, the airport, being taken off. Logan International Airport, that's the best we can call that. I, of course, had some different, I call it 2400 meters of man-made land. And that's why it's completely flat. Man-made land is always very flat. Why would you build a hill? So, a lot of extra dirt, it's, uh, there wasn't much of. So, Logan Airport entirely built on man-made land, and that dirt came from Needham. And the rest of the dirt from Needham makes the neighborhood of Boston we call the Back Bay, simply because it once was a bay on the back of Boston. <laughs> Think about the name of something, you're learning something about it. The Back Bay goes from the Charles River all the way over to the Prudential Tower, which we're not going to see because it's behind the sky that is all back day. It's all flat. The streets are laid out like, like a grid. That's called good urban planning. And with all the visitors we have from out of state, we, uh, we alphabetize the streets so they won't get lost. Very helpful. Probably no one has noticed that. Anybody notice the back day streets are alphabetized? All that work. Uh, well, next time you go over there, take a look. Arlington, Burnley, Cleveland, and Gardner, Jackson, and Fair. Can't get lost. Now, come into the Inner Harbor. Over here on the right, this is East Boston. You can guess why they call it East Boston. Because it is east of Boston. And that's how South Boston got its name, because it is south of Boston. That's how the North End got its name. It's, it's really that simple. But East Boston here, and that big red roof building you may have noticed as I was going on about the dirt from Needham, that is not the world's largest red roof inn, which somebody tried to convince me it was. No, that is the new roof on Logan Airport on Terminal E, International Arrivals and Departures. And if you flew into Boston from out of the country, you didn't get to see that roof because it was up But that is brand new. They just finished the first. Sailors on board these ships had a fair amount of free time. They didn't spend it drinking on a cycle boat. They spent that free time making baskets. These became known the world over as the Nantucket Lightship Baskets. The 
Yeah, yeah. Thirty thousand dollars. When you get home, check your attic. Two months college tuition, please. Twenty dollars. That's today. That's a flooding museum. Look along the shoreline again, rock retaining walls everywhere we look, and wharves and piers. Now, I told you that most of the wharves and piers are mislabeled. Whoever had that job was absolutely clueless and never told anybody, but I've figured it out. So over here, you see that spaceship-like structure? That sits on a wharf. Look underneath it, you see all the granite blocks? In the middle, between those granite okay. block walls is dirt, rocks, mm -hmm. and gravel and those wharves will last many, many generations, like Long Wharf, 1710. This wharf here, they were still confused. They built that beautiful park on top of it. You know what they call that park? So annoying. Piers Park. No idea. This is absolutely clueless. In between, we have that little white, that uh, little white office, it's not really a building, but a structure. That's this is a video. We did it for them, didn't it, sir? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, appearing before us, it will 